Okay, so I've made this uh, dual 30 amp um, single phase to a 50 amp RV plug adapter and having some issues with my um, RV tripping the breaker. I'll show you why here or part of the reason. <clears throat> so currently using this one of these uh, 30 amp to uh, 50 amp adapters. <clears throat> well that's putting all of my uh, RV's appliances through one breaker here, this bottom 30 amp, and <clears throat> so that's causing me problems. You get running too many appliances, and uh, so it trips this breaker. Um, what this will do is allow me to utilize both uh, 30 amp plugs and give me two legs of 120 in the RV, just like if I were plugged into a normal 50 amp circuit. So I'll be able to plug in 130 amp here and 130 amp here and will give me a single <coughs> 50 amp, uh, well it'll actually be two 230 amp breakers, but that's irrelevant. <coughs> but what it'll do is separate my load um, in the RV, so I'll have two, two legs of 120 rather than just one at 30 amps, I'll have two at, uh, well up to 30 amps on each leg. Uh, I still will have to do some rewiring on the RV due to the way it's wired. Several of the plugs are on one circuit. I've already tried this out and it, it does work, but I was I only am getting when I <clears throat> put a current clamp on each of these, I was only getting about four or five amps on one leg, but then max current, you know, 28 to 30 on the other. So it's telling me the RV is wired funny, so I got some work to do there. But but uh, yeah, this will do the trick and help me out greatly. So looking forward to getting this situation taken care of. And um, also have some room to grow here if I need to add. I'll have to add a, another 110 or 120 circuit for uh, my hot tub. But the rest of these two, ones for my mini split. Uh, we'll be able to just plug <clears throat> directly into the RV. So, but I uh, hope to have an update on that soon when I get it done, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.